Hello, <clears throat> Jim Howard here in Fort Worth, Texas. It's February 24th, 2023. It's almost noon. I haven't taken my morning medications yet, but noon would not be bad. And uh, this is what I'm, my medicine thing for today. Um, I've got this computer sitting over there. I don't know why. It's a Samson uh, Plus 2-in-1 touchscreen Chromebook. Um, I don't know why. You know, it even has the... Uh, Uh, stylus that you know goes in the side of it. I don't know why I just you know I I hooked it up when I first got it and then after I don't know a day or two or not even that long I just set it up you know on a shelf over there and uh, I um and then the same thing happened. I don't know, months go by or something. Well, when did I get this thing? Well, not very long, you know, June of 2022. I just end up setting it over someplace and just totally forgetting about it. <clears throat> it uses a Chrome operating system. And one of the things about that is just so nice is that if you mess up or something, you just you know, reset it, and then you log in with your Google, um, you know, email account or whatever. And that's it. Then all your stuff comes back. Pretty neat. There's pretty neat stuff. I just don't know why in the world I don't use it. I guess I don't like laptops. Um... Not sure, but um, anyway, I've I've got it here. I guess I may be in the market to uh, sell it. One reason is I've got it came in a wonderful box. <laughs> really easy to ship it, you know. I mean, it just came in a wonderful box, sturdy box. And I hate shipping things. And I definitely don't like shipping anything outside of the United States, even to Canada. I've talked about that. You know, God bless Canada. But in the, in the back in the past, uh, when I was uh, doing selling on eBay, not a lot of stuff, but I would, I'd sell something, a, a radio or something and I would always put a low price on it and as soon as I listed it I would know I mean immediately as soon as I listed it I got a thing you know take because I had a you know take it price or whatever and somebody would buy it immediately and uh, but once anything went to Canada you know and I my rating on eBay was you know, like number one, you know, number one. I mean, I, everybody gave me a fantastic rating for shipping, every and communications, you know, because, you know, as soon as they would place an order, I mean, I would, you know, as soon as they ordered, I'd immediately send them an email and tell them, okay, it'll be going out tomorrow, you know, priority or whatever, and then they'd, they post, you know, they got it almost immediately and, packed greatly and all this kind of stuff so I had really good you know reviews and everything and but oh if somebody went to Canada <clears throat> you know this I'd it'd be the same way ship immediately and whatever and then there would be a thing well, I haven't received it yet and it would be sitting you know at the border to be checked you know, because of the way they 
the way they do things there. And so I, I don't think I ever said no shipping to Canada, but I, you know, my thing was no, my thing got to be outside the United States, you know, no, I'm sorry, I don't, you know, don't want to ship outside the United States. I mean, Canada needs to work on, well, they're set up a different way. I mean, you know, revenue and that type of stuff and things are, uh, they don't want things bought, I guess, in the United States and then just shipped right over the, you know, because it's going to hurt their merchants and stuff. Anyway. I do not know what happened to my uh, I guess what was it? Well, I guess I could do a search and see. Then I would do. I know I bought because I bought all this stuff the same. Let's see. Do a. Uh, let me go back here. And orders. Okay. Let's see. See if I can search without putting anything in. No. Okay, I'll put tablet in. Let's see. I don't see it. Maybe I'm hallucinating. Maybe that's why I can't find it. Yeah, I, okay, I guess, yeah, I'm not sure what, not sure what's going on, because I remember the tablet, because one thing I didn't like, I like about it, the, that tablet was, you know, you fold it to be a tablet, you know, you could just fold the back over, then you have a tablet. You know, you flip it over and you've got a, you know, a portable computer. But when I flipped it over, you know, you feel the keys. Now, of course, the keys are inactivated. You know, nothing happens, but it just bugged me. So I'm not sure. Uh... What else is going on? I'm having some kind of trouble with Manicam. I've rebooted, and I don't know what in the heck <clears throat> that I've done. Um, and... Uh, I know, please don't say OBS, because I, when OBS was created, invented, or whatever, not not in the very beginning, but I got in really quick. I messed with it, made a few videos, I think even did some streaming with it, you know, on YouTube, stuff like that, and then I would, you know, go to Manicam and use Manicam, and then... Uh, 
I'd come back to OBS, and I just keep coming back, and just OBS does not does not grab me. Manicam does, or Minicam. Uh, I'm still, you know. I had something. What was it? To eat just now. Can't remember. Um, I'm not sure. I even reinstalled it, by the way. <clears throat> you know, I deleted the old Manicam and installed, you know, new Manicam. I should show you something, by the way, with, with uh, Manicam. Let's see if I can show that to you. Hey, my, wait a minute, let's see. Trying to think if I'm using it now. I think. Uh, what did I want to show you? Uh, let's see. Yeah, man, you can. There's Manicam. Oops. Okay, that is Manicam. <laughs> That's on the screen. You're. Uh, I think you're looking at it right now. Where are you? Okay. Um, as you know, I've been, uh, what was, two weeks ago now, or a week ago, or whatever. I had to go to the hospital for dizziness and all kinds of stuff. And they sent me home after a few hours with a diagnosis that really doesn't make any sense to me. But what did I want to show? Um, well, let me see. Settings, I think. Okay, here, here's what I wanted to show you. These are the Manicam programs that I have paid for that I own, I still own. Studio, a lifetime, uh, a premium license that's a lifetime, another premium license that's a lifetime, and another premium license that's a lifetime. And I own a, a standard Manicam Lifetime. Then I own a standard annual which expires March. It's going to expire in a few days. March 12th of 2023. Then I own, and I'm using right now, uh, a premium two year that expires. Uh, in 2024, and then I own a premium two-year that expires in uh, February of 2025. So I've been a pretty heavy investor in Manicam. Um, and my point being, I don't know. Well, I guess my point being, what in the heck's wrong with my using of uh, it now? Because some of the things are not working the way they should be working. Yeah, one thing is, uh, my two monitors. Okay, maybe that's it. I cannot, right now, I can't get it to go to the other monitor. You know, like I have a choice, like I've decided that the one you're seeing now 
Or is that the one you're saying now? Yes, it is. Um, but the other screen doesn't pop up like that. And that's it's always the way it's worked. In fact, if I hooked up a third monitor, which I've never done, I could have I could run three monitors. Uh, the third screen should show up. Um, you know, I am using a um, wavelength. Uh, docking station. Now, I've hooked up so many things so many different ways. Do I have my two monitors just going into my B-Link? Or do I have one of the monitors going into it and, the, uh, and another the other monitor going into the, uh, hmm, let me check on that. Hang on a second. Okay. No, that's not. I mean, it should work. You know, it should work that way. I can do that. I've done that in the past. I've run, you know, both monitors out of the uh, uh, wavelength, or one out of, you know, or both out of the B link computer directly, and I bet those things have. Um, they've worked. So why does it not appear to be working now? I don't know. That's something for me to, I guess, I have a whole bunch of, but I, right now I feel I have to hold on to the walls walking. And how long has it been since I was in the emergency room? A week ago or so. I forget. And I'm also like, you know, dizzy all the time. And it's very difficult for me to do a bunch of things that I normally are able to do, have been able to do. Like it's all of a sudden, bang. And, uh, don't know. Anyway, uh, thanks very much for watching. Now my voice is going out. Uh, old age. You young whippersnappers, you don't know have what you have to look forward to.